on my good folks, it's your man, your guy, your boy, 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having an amazing Sunday, a great Sunday, man. If you haven't checked out my last video that I did when I had a bad grade and I tried to slide on past Pops and that junk didn't work, man, make sure you check out that video, man. The link to all my videos will be in the description section below, so make sure y'all check those videos out, man. If you're new to the page, click on that link so you will be updated to everything that we're talking about over here at 1127 kicks man and make sure y'all hit that notification bell so every time i drop some heat bro it automatically will come to your phone man and y'all can see what's going on in the world over here you feel what i'm saying so with that being said there's a lot of stuff that's been circulating rumors that's been going around it's an article out right now and uh the first time i heard about this i was watching uh damn d's uh YouTube and he uh, was the first person that reported this and I just wanted to you know give it out to, to my people and everything like that I've read up on it and um, Nike is possibly going to cancel out you know third-party sellers man basically like cutting out the middleman just for the simple fact one that was gonna that's gonna imp increase their margins of profit that they'll get and they're trying to improve you know what I'm saying their direct customer uh, review and stuff like that of Nike basically because um like I said before in my one of my previous videos, a, a fan of Travis Scott actually wrote a letter to Nike and it was upset about the simple fact that, you know, people, you know, who don't care about Travis Scott, da 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 but basically, like, people get, like, two or three pairs of a shoe, man, and they'll mess around and sell it for two or three times the profit and stuff like that, and it's taken away from the people that will actually wear the shoes, you feel what I'm saying? Now... I don't knock any reseller, bro. You dig what I'm? I don't knock any reseller. If you get this, like I said, if you get a shoe for 160 and somebody crazy enough to pay three thousand dollars for for that shoe, man, by all means, bro, make your sale. That's what it is. But I really feel like that Nike's actually trying to cancel that out, man, because you know you can really make a killing off of resale and stuff like that just off the rip. Like people make lots and lots and lots of money off of that. Then also, you know, you have people who have multiple accounts and stuff like that that could get like five or six pairs of shoes that got the hookups you know it's a lot of back doors that goes on and stuff like that and i feel like that nike's actually trying to cancel that stuff out so you know people could actually all have a fair chance of you know getting whatever super hot releases that's actually coming out now i feel two ways about it now my personal opinion you know i'm in hawaii right now and just just period i'm not too big on doing footwork you know i'm not big on the raffles or you know going to five or six different stores trying to pick up multiple pairs and stuff like that that's just not me i personally shoot for my personal pair size off of the sneakers app and i'm cool with waiting for the two-day shipping that for me to actually get my shoes so that's how i look at it you know i'm really not you know i really don't as far as that it doesn't affect me because I don't go out and go to the malls anyway. But the other part is if Nike's only releasing it at their Nike stores and just online at Nike or via sneakers app and stuff like that because they said they want to focus more on their website and basically that's Nike.com and you know whatever releases, shoe releases on Nike.com is on the sneakers app. My only thing is is that now more people if they shut down like you know giving out to the foot lockers the champs and these third-party shops and stuff like that everybody's going to be coming on to the nike nike.com and the sneakers app and that could potentially cause for the site to crash and stuff like that now if nike could find a way to where you know the site won't crash and stuff like that and it's still going to run fluently and everything i'm perfectly okay with this you know what i'm saying because like I said, I, I definitely understand the simple fact that, you know, people getting upset because they're like, man, you know, a certain pair of shoes is getting backdoored and they pretty much don't have a chance to actually get the shoe. And I feel like eventually, like, you know, us as consumers or people who just love shoes and stuff like that, we are the hype of the shoe. You dig what I'm saying? We the ones that be like, oh, we want that shoe and da, 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 stuff like that. But eventually, you know, you're gonna have people that's getting tired of, you know, a hype shoe or a limited shoe getting backdoored or, you know, a raffle system comes on an in-store raffle and everybody know how them in-store raffles go on. Like an in-store raffle, if you don't know the people in the store, y'all ain't got a good relationship and stuff like that, man, you might as well call it dead, you feel me? Because they only gonna give it to the people that they know and just to hook up the homies just being real. So, you know, you have that going on and stuff like that. 
And I just, I understand the fact that, you know, that people don't like that. And also what I'm saying as far as like where the hype of the shoe is because for, for example, right? The, uh, the Travis Scott 60s. That was, that was probably the most hyped shoe of the year and probably the shoe of the year to a lot of people, right? Now, a lot of people, including myself, as soon as they see images of the shoe and stuff like that, like, oh, we want that shoe, we want that shoe, we want that shoe, we want that shoe. You know what I'm saying? But eventually, like I said, like I'm saying right now is, is that people are going to be like, man, that's a dope shoe, but I'm probably not going to be able to get the shoe. You feel what I'm saying? And they probably just going to be like, you know, it's scratch it. I'm not going to go for it. I'm done with it. You know, and then they probably going to veer off to something else. Then next thing you know, you will have shoes actually sitting on the shelf that possibly could have been hyped that could have sold out just like that. And that will affect Nike sales. You know, just how like uh, a few years back, you know, a lot of people start complaining about um, Adidas and his Yeezys because his Yeezys were so limited and people weren't able to get their hands on them. And then when people did get their hands on Yeezys, they was charging an arm and a leg just to get a pair of Yeezys. But eventually, you know, Kanye West and Adidas, they was pretty much like, if, you know, somebody wants a pair of Yeezys, everybody will be able to get a pair of Yeezys and stuff like that. And they made it more available and stuff like that. And then now, you know, when you're going on Adidas.com, they have to like the, it's not even a queue. It's like you're in the waiting room and stuff like that. You have to wait for a little bit. This dang near like a queue, but they call it the waiting room. It's more organized. The site doesn't crash. And you're actually, when it's your turn, you can actually click on the shoe with updates, you know, what sizes are available, what sizes are not available and stuff like that, and it works out. So if Nike will be able to do something like that, i definitely go with that, you know, because I don't feel like that Nike wants the hype of their shoes to go down. They dang sure don't want their sales to go down, and they dang sure don't want people to go over there to Adidas and other retailers or other brands and stuff like that, because right now, you know, Jordan and Nike, that's the brand nike is the the brand the shoe to have on your feet right now because they have made such a big comeback with dropping these og colorways and these collaborations and stuff like that but it's a lot of crooked stuff that comes on with that that comes with that you know like nike tried to do their thing about the drawing system you know they updated that and they tried to stop the box and stuff and that did not work out people still have bots people still do that stuff so you know that's my only thing about and people got several nike accounts that that as well so that's my only thing about you know if they just do it strictly online that will you know it'll make it more difficult for me you feel me but at the same time i really feel like that if nike you know could do something about the bots and stuff like that or people with multiple nike accounts and stuff i feel like that it will be cool to give everybody a fair chance then on top of that at the nike store and stuff like that they ain't backdooring at the nike store nike ain't playing that if you work for their store you're not backdooring nothing, you know? So, like I said, it's a it's an even playing ground for everybody. But I do feel the people who actually do put in the footwork to actually go get pairs, you know what I'm saying? The people who wake up at 5 in the morning and, you know, they're waiting in line for hours and they go get pairs. They wait at the mall because some people didn't pick up their shoes and if they didn't pick up their shoes, they go in there, hey, y'all got some sizes left and they pick up whatever, you know? In that case, you feel me? People who didn't go pick up their shoes, somebody went else and got your shoe. You know, you're notified about that before you even enter the raffle, you know. So, I feel sorry for the people who, you know, have to go through that process. You feel what I'm saying? Because that kind of cuts it out and that cuts out the fun for a lot of people. Like me personally, I'm not standing in the line. I'm just not doing it. That's not my thing. I've stood in the line one time, never doing it again. That's just not me. I'd rather wake up and click a button and see if I got them or not. And that's totally fine with me, man. So in the comment section below, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that Nike should go ahead and go along with this? Or do you think that they, you know, should keep it the way that it is? But if, in my personal opinion, this is how I think that they're going to do it. Now, like those third party uh, stores, you know, as far as like, you know, your mom and pop shops, that's what they call them, those small shops and stuff. I feel like that they're not going to give those people the shoes because that's where the shoes are getting backdoored most of the time. I still feel like Foot Action, Foot Locker, um, Champs, and uh, you know some other stores, probably like your Sheiks and stuff like that. I feel like those stores will still get the shoes um, because for the most part, I don't know about Sheik, but um, I know Hibber Sport. Oh yeah, also Hibber Sports. But I know Hibber Sports, Champs, Finish Line. Foot action and Foot Locker 
those shoes always do the reservations on super hot shoes you feel what i'm saying they always do like the reservations so you can reserve your pair they do the countdown and stuff like that and if you get selected then you're good to go and it's crazy the best thing about that is that's on an app that's all through a computer and stuff like that it is random it's not people picking names out of a raffle and saying hey we're going to choose you no nah, when you reserve your pair that's completely a whole different computer system that a store can't control. All they know is like, hey, these are the people that got picked. It goes to their system. These people got picked. These are the people that's going to show up and they give you, you know, they let you know, like bring an ID and all this other stuff, your uh, payment information or whatever to go actually go pick up the shoes. So I think Nike possibly will give, you know, uh, those stores shoes. But the other brand, the other tier stores, I don't think so. Just because there's a lot of backdooring going on. And like I said, because of the reserve system that the stores that I just named, because of the system that they have, you know, it ain't too much backdooring that's going on with that. Now, do I feel like it's still a little bit of a backdoor that goes on? Like, do I think people could like, you know, backdoor one or two pairs? Maybe, but they're not backdooring a full blown inventory, man, because people are losing their jobs and that's the top tier store. And that's a, and if they lose, you know, Nike not fooled with them, just send them the hot shoes and stuff like that. That store profit is gonna go down. That store is gonna end up getting shut down. So they're not gonna play around with that. You feel me? And I don't think employees trying to lose their jobs over hooking somebody up personally, man. So in the conversation below, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do y'all think that Nike should, you know, keep it the way it is? Or should they go along with this uh, new system that they're talking about? Once again, it's just a rumor. We don't know for sure yet. But when I do know for sure, I will definitely let y'all know as soon as possible, man. And once again, man, make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page. When y'all watch the video, man, please make sure that y'all like the video. The more y'all like the video, the more popular the video gets and stuff like that. And then, you know, your boy, feel me? We could, do, we could grow as a channel. You feel me? And, you know, get everybody else on this movement, man. So please make sure y'all do that for me. Uh, make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page. Thank you, thank you for everybody that's been supporting me off the rip, man. And it's your boy 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came at you going, showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made you for wanna listen. You know these niggas hate fucking tell a get out of here.